So welcome to our Friday news update. No more snow, snow has gone. So our excitement of last week is, uh, is over. Um, we have, thank you very much for all our customers are so understanding. We weren't here for half of Thursday or Friday or Saturday. But we reopened as per normal on Monday and it's pretty much all gone now anyway, isn't it? Um, so uh, well done to all the staff. So all of my staff were all working from home, taking your calls on their mobiles, working on their laptops. And we actually managed to maintain a seamless service. So, um, so that's all good. And we've pretty much caught up from a deliveries perspective. Obviously there's quite a bit of disruption with that. Uh, we've just about caught up, but some of our products being shipped in from abroad, there've still been some considerable delays because of the ports have got a big backlog. So if you are one of those customers waiting for a product to come in from abroad, many apologies. We're doing all we can to try and get those ships docked and then get everything through customs and get it into our logistics hub. So a bit of work in progress there. That's probably the only thing that's really outstanding. Um, we did ask, so I gave you a quick sort of tour of my home games room and I asked you guys what you're doing um, during your snow days and send me in a pic and um, we've got a winner actually. So Simon Kelsey, thank you Simon. He sent in a nice picture of his hot tub. I can't think of anything better to do on a snow day than sit in a hot tub. So well done Simon, thanks for your, your picture and your comment. Uh, we'll send you out one of our legendary mugs. We're currently waiting for some more to come in. Jakob is sorting that out. Jakob's gonna give me a nod. Yes, he is gonna sort that out during next week. So as soon as they've uh, the next batch have arrived, we'll send you out a mug. Thanks very much for your comment. Um, so uh, what do we got next for you? So next thing to talk about sales executive vacancies. We've actually got three vacancies right now for sales executives. We are super busy and struggling to cope. So that's why we're recruiting some more staff. So if you are interested, go onto our careers page. Just go on the website. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see a link there for careers. I'll give you all the details of our vacancy for uh, sales executives. Uh, we're doing interviews at the moment, so get your email over to us. There is a link there to be able to email or just email it straight over to roger at homeleisuredirect.com. Roger's our sales manager. Roger is organising all of the interviews. So if you are interested in working for a uh, award-winning games room retailer then this is the place to be um, send over your cv as quick as you can and we'll get you involved in our interviews we've got planned for next week uh, so third thing we're talking about pool cloths and the reason we're talking about pool cloths is we've posted a couple of awesome pictures of printed pool cloths uh, with logos on them on our facebook with loads and loads of comments and lots of people asking and emailing in and saying tell me about pool cloths and printed cloths and so on so i thought it's a really good opportunity to give you a bit of a rundown and explain the two different types of printed pool cloths we can offer so the first type if Jakob can just come in and just film this so this is a jack daniels pool cloth and this is screen printed so Hainsworth, English manufacturer based in Leeds, they print the screen printed cloths for us. And those ones we print for logos that we have the license for. So we basically had a screen made, which is really quite expensive uh, for these logos, but they're all stored at Hainsworth and they'll print the cloths for us because we've got the license for this. So this, so for example, if you're a Chelsea fan, if you're a Spurs fan, if you're a West Ham fan, there's a number of different clubs we've got the licenses for, we've had all the screens made, we can get those printed for you uh, by them. Um, but what we don't do is we don't use Hainsworth for printing just one-offs. So if you wanted to have a logo printed for your company, for example, then we get that printed by a different company called Artscape and they can print one-offs for you far more cost effectively because basically to get a screen made for each different colour that's going to get used ends up running into hundreds and hundreds of pounds and it's just not cost effective for just one print. So let's go over and look at an Artscape cloth. So on those, on those ones there, to give you a rough price, it's about £250. So if you wanted, so there was an awesome Liverpool cloth on there. I'm a big Liverpool fan, so uh, there's a lot of people loving Liverpool, a lot of people not loving Liverpool on there though. Um, but if you want to get that Liverpool cloth uh, for your own table, give us a call here. We'll run you through all the details, but roughly speaking, £250. If it's a seven foot table, you're going to be fitting that cloth to if it's going to be a new table that you're going to order from us. Um, if you want a company logo printing, as I said, we'd have to get it done on a one-off basis and Artscape would print those. And for a seven foot table, it's about 320 pounds. And this is the sort of um, finish that you'll get. And this is basically printed with a massive inkjet printer. And I mean massive. So the logo file you have to supply to us needs to be uh, generally of a vector type or an AI file, just a massive file that we can blow up to this size to be able to print on the cloth. 
Now, if you, Jacob, you can just get, I know you've just done a close-up, but I just wanted you to get to do another close-up for me. If you can just sort of show here. So this we've done in grey, which is our sort of company background sort of colour. But you'll notice it's got this sort of speckled effect on it. And any logo print we do on an Artscape cloth has to have some sort of a background. This is speckledy. We can do all sorts of different sort of little uh, patterns on there. And the reason for doing this is because with an inkjet printer, if you're just trying to print a solid colour backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, you'll end up where that inkjet is going backwards and forwards across the cloth, you can end up with some lines and some sort of stripy patterns. So therefore, which you don't want if you want a solid colour, so we can't print a solid colour on one of these one-off cloths. It's got to always have some sort of a pattern in the background, so just something for you to be aware of. If you wanted to get your company logo, so we're really busy on company logos at the moment. I think it's because it's the end of the financial year. A lot of companies are wanting to do breakout areas for their offices, and they'd love to get a logo pool cloth table put in there. And so we're just super busy on getting these printed. So there's a bit of a backlog on these. But if you wanted to get one done, you just need to send us in your logo and tell us how you'd like it to be oriented on the on the table so for example our logo here we've got it facing so when you break off you've got the logo facing you but depending on what logo size you've got you might want it to be round the other way so tell us how you want it to appear what colors you want on there um, and we'll basically work with the designers we'll send you back a mock-up of that so you can see whether you like the design of it if you want anything changing making bigger smaller colors changing just email us back we'll work with the designer to go backwards and forwards until we get a design that you're completely happy with then we'll get it printed by Artscape for you. And just to give you an idea on the lead times, they are running at about eight to 10 weeks on these at the moment. So um, you're gonna to have to bear with us at the moment. It's just so busy and they've had some issues with their printer. They're currently getting a new one, which will be great. But as a result, there is a bit of a backlog. So if you are interested, then get yourselves in the queue at the moment because we are really, really busy on these and we'll get them printed and fitted to whatever pool table you decide to buy as quick as we can and then get it out to you. So that's pool cloth. So if you've got any questions on this, if you want to know about getting a logo onto a cloth, if you're confused despite my attempt to explain it, then just email, just e either email in to our sales team or give us a call or hit us up on live chat. We'll be able to answer any questions um, that you've got. So question for you for winning a, one of our legendary mugs this week is if you're going to have a pool cloth printed, what logo would you have printed on it? Uh, it'd be interesting to see what brands you'd pick and so on and so forth. And that's actually just an interesting point is if you do want to get a brand printed on the cloth, you must get the authority from the license holder. So for example, if you wanted to get Coca-Cola printed on there, we don't have the license for Coca-Cola you'd have to contact Coca-Cola and get their permission and then email that over to us so we can then print it. We can't print any cloths that are copyrighted logos without the brand owner's permission. It's just an important point, really. So you can't just come to us and go, really, I, I want to have this thing that you love printed on there. Like if you wanted to have Star Wars, for example, you wanted to have Star Wars or Marvel, for example, you'd have to get their permission before you could get, say, I don't know, a Spider-Man uh, printed on your pool cloth. So what would you get anyway? So if you could get the permission, fingers crossed, what would you get printed on your cloth? So that's it from me. Have yourselves a great weekend, guys. I look forward to catching you next week.